Lord became my protector. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, God, and the Holy Spirit, and you all. And I'm going to share here. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass, the thing we offer for Jesus and Lord, brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves for the celebration of Savior Jesus. You were sent to be on the country of heart, Lord, the first star of the night. You came to call sinners. Christ, have my respect, have mercy. You are seated up right now, Father, and see for us. Lord, have my sorrow, have mercy. Now, may God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us our last one. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice when troubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and with the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And then, Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. And in the ninth year of Zedekiah's reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came with all his army against Jerusalem and made a siege to it. They built siege works against it all around. So the city was besieged until the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. On the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine became so severe in the city that there was no food for the people of the land. Then a breach was made in the city wall. The king with all the soldiers fled by night, by the way of the gate between the two walls, by the king's garden. Though the Chaldeans were all around the city, they went in the direction of the Arab. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king and overtook him in the plains of Jericho. All his army was scattered, deserted him. Then they captured the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon at Bridwell. Who passed sentence on him. They slaughtered the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, then put up the eyes of Zedekiah. They bound him in fetters and took him to Babylon. In the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the bodyguard, a servant of the king of Babylon came to Jerusalem. He burned the house of the Lord, the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every great house he burned down. All the army of the Chaldeans, who were with the captain of the guard, broke down the walls around Jerusalem. Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, carried into exile the rest of the people who were left in the city. And the deserters who had defected to the king of Babylon, all the rest of the population. The captain of the guard left some of the poorest people of the land to be vine dressers and tillers of the soil. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and there we wept. When we remembered Zion, on the willows, there we hung up our harps. Let my God be silent and For there our captors asked us for songs, and our tormentors asked for mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Let my God be silent and how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand live. Let my tongue silence Let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy, let my tongue silence the
The Lord will continue to a reading of the whole gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to him. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> Too often, when we're going through our own troubles or going the troubles of the world, we can forget or just fail to call upon the Lord to help us, forgetting that He chooses always to make us clean, to clean up the world. That's why He came in the first place. We see in the story of the leper that had the courage enough to break all the rules and approach Jesus, and then Jesus in turn break the rules and to touch him in order to cleanse him, that this leper had enough faith in Jesus that he knew he could be made clean if Jesus desired it. And perhaps he also knew that Jesus would have desired it, otherwise the doubtful would have had the courage to approach him to break these rules and feared himself being stoned to death for such an action. So Jesus heals him and commands him to go and show himself to the priest as well as to offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. So anybody who was cleansed of any disease that uh, would have kept them out of the community, they offered a gift in order to prove that they were cured of their disease, showing that they were able to go into the community to make a purchase of the gift that they needed to offer. And so this is what Jesus told him to do. Recognize those traditions, to recognize those laws and policies, and to go forward to prove that he is the past. So let us take courage today and every day as we find ourselves in whatever uncleanliness of our own sins or the collective sins of the world or the collective troubles of the world. Let us not fail to approach Christ and ask him to make this clean, having the confidence that he does will <laughs> We have all gathered here to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption, let us therefore ask Almighty God. Whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessing and blessing. For all who allow themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. For peace among nations that deliver from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart, let us pray to the Lord. For the elderly and all who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters, shown how we care for them and serve them. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For ourselves gathered here, that as God has not ceased to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers that remain in the secret of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mercy be seen to you, O Lord. These are your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your many generosity through Christ our Lord. <laughs>
Bless Mary, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we are deceived the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless <laughs> Bless Mary, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we are deceived the blind and the offering. Through the divine and the the hand, it will become our spiritual friend. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, God, the Almighty God. Amen. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our relations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy. What you grant is the source of merit. They also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Very thank you. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word is whom we made all things, and you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling the will and gain for you, O holy people, who stretched out his hands as he worked his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, Moses. And the parents of the Lord of God, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, and the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and had grown into his passion, he took bread <coughs> and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, he gave thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> Thank you. 
the mystery of faith. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, for our life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and institute. How will we pray that, partaking of the body of one Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread to the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Christian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have used you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs for eternal life. We may praise and glorify you, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, inform my God, teaching you care to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I am the Lord, and the Lord is the Lord. And the Lord is the Lord, and the Lord is the Lord. And we do it with our hearts. And we do it with those who trust our hearts. And we do it with our hearts. And we do it with our hearts. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for the reading. Grace to grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We wait with blessed hope. And the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I give you. By peace I give you. For God, on our sins and on the faith of your church, and gracious grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, take the place in the world of the first job. Lamb of God, take the place in the world of mercy. Lamb of God, take the place in the world of rest. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to shine the Lamb. What is the word of the
Body track. 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 I will sing to the Lord and be bound for me. Sing songs for the name of the Lord of God. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord. By the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we give you and in their spirit, the Almighty shall bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, fast, and be gentle. Thank you.